Hey, what's going on, y'all? So Jay from JS Films, and welcome back to NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. So in this video, we're going to be talking about NVIDIA Omniverse's path tracing a little bit, because you know I've been messing around with this here. And one of the questions I get a lot on the channel is, why why do you use NVIDIA Omniverse when you already have Unreal Engine, iClone, and so on and so forth? So what I'm going to do today is kind of, again, show you all why I am using NVIDIA Omniverse because I truly believe in the potential of this software here. As you all know, I absolutely love path tracing. And really, it's one of the reasons why I started trying out NVIDIA Omniverse in the first place. Because if you didn't know, NVIDIA Omniverse supports multi-GPU when it comes to path tracing. So that's pretty insane. So that's actually what I'm going to showcase right now. So we have it right now is a scene that I just put together in a cathedral with two knights. And I have the set path tracing set at 64 samples per pixel, which renders in about 5.23 seconds. And in this shot right here, I am now going to enable the four RTX A6000s in this machine. So right now we're only using one. If you didn't know, the RTX A6000s have 48 gigs. So four would have roughly 140 usable gigabytes of VRAM. So here we go, 64 pixels, and I'm gonna go ahead and click multi-GPU. This is going to resolve. And now you saw that this resolved 64 pixels in 1.46 seconds much faster than single GPU. Now, I'm stressing this a lot because I'm also using path tracing in Unreal Engine 5, which it looks incredible, as you all saw in my previous videos, but I think, in my opinion, Unreal Engine 5 path tracing is kind of useless without multiple GPU support, and that is why I am in here. <laughs> so I know NVIDIA Omniverse is really not a truly fully software that you can use and create movies with, that has like an easy interface or all of that, it's pretty young. It's really, really young. But at the same time, the rendering potential that this software has is just incredible. And again, if you have an RTX card, it's absolutely free. So if you're a gamer, look in your computer, you probably have an RTX card and you have access to this software right here. All right, so with that being said, you know, this is pretty noisy at 64 sample per pixel. Let's go ahead and crank this baby up a little bit. If we go to total samples per pixel now, I'm going to crank this up to 1024. As you can see, this is going to resolve right here, right? So this resolved in 22.71 seconds at 1024. Less noise because obviously we put more sample per pixel in there. So let's go ahead and turn off multi-GPU. So let's go ahead and it's 2271. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And now this is going to resolve again. So 22 seconds is where we're at. That's the fastest one with four GPUs running. Okay, so with single GPU RTX A6000, this rendered or resolved in 85.35 seconds versus the 20 seconds that we had with the multi-GPU enabled. Now, I know what you're thinking. Four RTX A6000 is probably going to be a, out of the budget for a lot of us. However, for indie studios or bigger studios, four RTX A6000, and you can render a lot faster for them, time is money. So this, I'm guessing, would be invaluable to them. If they can just buy a machine with four RTX A6000 and decrease the render time exponentially when using path trace mode. And again, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But this is insanity. 1024 sample per pixels, 22 seconds at 1920. All right, so this is all fine and good. But let's go ahead and do a render test to see how fast they can go and see which quality is better. All right. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and turn off these lights here. Turn off the lights right here. And I'm going to a camera that I pre-placed in here. All right. And then what I'll do is actually go to Windows. And I will go to the rendering movie capture. And that's going to pop up right here. And let me go ahead and show you what this kind of looks like. And what I'll do is I'll just show you the volumetrics off. So that's the volumetrics off. As you can see, it's kind of boring. But with global volumetrics effects, path, and path tracing, it just looks like it's thicker. I love fog. I love smoke. Steven Spielberg is the best at this. I love that. It just gives it that thickness to it that I really enjoy and actually lifts the shadows up a little bit. And actually, before I render this, let me go ahead and show you what this looks like in 
regular real-time mode. So this is real-time with fog. Honestly, this might look good from for some of y'all. Uh, this looks amazing for some of y'all, depending on what you're trying to go for. And um, I guess I can turn off the volumetrics for this one as well, so you can kind of see that. So this is with it off. Looks kind of boring. You know, it's just not appealing to me. So I'll turn that back on, and I'll switch this to path tracing. And I'll twirl this down. And we have our settings here. What we're actually going to do is we're going to be setting this at 2048 to clean up the noise just a little bit more. So I'm going to go and I uh, have the name without already pre-named in here. And I'm going to be turning off multi-GPU. So this is just a single RTX A6000 that we're going to be rendering at 920 by 1080. Okay, and then 2048 samples. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press capture. Okay, so that rendered in 5 minutes and 23 seconds with a single RTX A6000. And what we're going to do now is click this multi-GPU and see how fast this is going to render. So I'm going to put with and then capture. So that rendered in a minute and 30 seconds with 2,048 path trace samples. Ladies and gentlemen, this, you're looking at it, this is the future of rendering right here. And I know it doesn't have any fancy UIs and it doesn't have a lot of fancy features yet, like cloth physics on skeletal mesh and things like that. Obviously, you have to give it time if they do develop this. Obviously, this is going to be a crazy software for filmmakers, real-time filmmakers. And again, this software is free. What we're going to do next is we're going to dream just for a little bit. So what I just showed you was four RTX A6000s, which roughly 140 gigs of VRAM. But NVIDIA also created probably the fastest, most powerful graphics card in the entire freaking universe, as far, and as far as I know, the A100, which has 80 gigs that draws 300 watts of power. This is insane. Obviously, this is going to be out of our budget for majority of us, but for big companies, even indie studios with 100K and up studio budget, they can pull this off. And really, the question I want to ask here is, since as far as I know, there is no diminishing return on multiple GPU on how many multi on how many GPUs you can stack to use with NVIDIA Omniverse. If we stack enough GPUs, such as the A100, will we be able to run path tracing in real, real time? Meaning, no seconds resolving in NVIDIA Omniverse. And my friends, this is why. I am using NVIDIA Omniverse now because I truly believe that this, at least the rendering technology behind it, is going to be doing a lot of damage in the future. And again, with that being said, I want you to take a look at this meta computer that Mark Zuckerberg is building. Meta is building a new computer with 16,000 NVIDIA A100 GPUs, folks. 16,000 of this right here. So with that being said, Meta, for the sake of science and research, can I install NVIDIA Omniverse in your computer and do the same exercise as I did today? <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. But ladies and gentlemen, with 16,000 NVIDIA A1 GPUs, can we safely say that that computer can run crisis. But that's pretty much it. I hope you all learned something new today. And honestly, it's such an amazing time to be alive. Technology is just, I mean, we're not getting along in the outside world, but at least technology is advancing so fast that it's so exciting. And I'm really thankful to be here.